morning, kindergartners. Welcome to Bryant and welcome to 103 with me, Miss Sorensen. For those who don't know me, I will be your kindergarten teacher this year. Uh, I met a lot of you at Spark the other week, but a couple friends I haven't got to meet yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. I thought it would be kind of fun if we did a read aloud before kindergarten even started. Now, in kindergarten, you're gonna do lots of things. You're gonna do reading, writing, mathing, sciencing, arting, playing, lots of ings. And one of the things we do a lot is we do read alouds. We do read alouds for lots of different things. We do read alouds for talking about our emotions. We do read alouds for counting. We do read alouds for ABCs. We do silly read alouds. Have you ever read Dragons Love Tacos? It's a pretty silly one. My all-time favorite one, though, is The Book With No Pictures. Have you ever read that book before? We'll read that one mm, maybe one or two times here in 103. But I found this book the other day, and it made me think about you and me because it's called The Night Before Kindergarten. Is it The Night Before Kindergarten for you? It's The Night Before Kindergarten for me right now. Tomorrow, I get to meet you. I'm so excited. So I thought we would do this read aloud together because it's, it's kind of like this cool thing between us, this special thing. We're both starting kindergarten tomorrow. Now I've had a lot of first days of kindergarten. I've been teaching for this many school years. Do you know how many that is? One, two, three, four. This is my fourth year of teaching. So. I have done kindergarten now four times, but every single time I start kindergarten, it's a new experience for me. I have new friends. I've been in different classrooms. I've had different things I've had to teach. And so every year it's, it's different. And every year it makes me feel a little nervous. Have you ever felt nervous before? Are you feeling a little nervous now? Okay, that's okay. If you're not, or if you are, that's totally okay. How about excited? Have you felt excited before? Are you feeling excited for tomorrow? I am too. I'm feeling a little bit nervous and I'm feeling a little bit excited. And together, I'm feeling a lot of different feelings at one time. But I know, even if I'm feeling nervous and excited, I know that tomorrow is going to be awesome. So let's sit back and enjoy this book by Natasha Wing, The Night Before Kindergarten. Ooh, I notice already some things on this book. This is called the cover, the front of the book. I'm noticing some things on this cover. What are some things you're noticing? Yeah, she, she has a backpack, right? Do, do you have a backpack? Oh, okay. Some, something to put your property or your tools into. Yeah, she's, she's putting some tools in there. I see some crayons, pencils, notebooks, a book. And, oh, do you think she's gonna bring her dog with her? Probably not, that would be kind of silly. I'm also noticing over here, it looks like she has some clothes set aside for tomorrow. Do you already have an outfit planned for tomorrow, your first day of school outfit? Me too, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. She is getting ready. Oh, I even noticed her calendar is on the month of September. And that's the month that we start school too. September. Tomorrow is September 11th. Monday is our first day of school, September 11th. Okay. Oh, here we go. The night before kindergarten. The night before kindergarten. I know, we know the title already. Come on, book, let's just get going. We're ready for the words. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. Wait, I just, I, we just talked about that. Being excited and maybe a little scared or nervous or anxious at the same time. Wait a second. 
This book read my mind. Hmm. This book is also a rhyming book. Did anybody hear the rhyme? A rhyme is when two words sound the same at the end of the word. Like cat and bat are rhyming words. There are two words in here. Prepared and scared. Hmm. Rhyming book. Ooh, it looks like they're choosing what to wear. He's got a lot of socks. I think he might be missing the match. You know, I like wearing mismatched socks, so I think that's okay if he wears mismatched socks to school. Looks like she's putting her tools in her backpack. They're getting ready. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Now I'm imagining dancing crayons in my head. What about you? Dancing crayons? Yeah? Sound good? I like dancing crayons. Did you hear the rhyme? Head, bed. They sound the same at the end of the word. Yeah, look at all of their dreams. I am very curious if any of you are going to dream about school supplies tonight. Now I feel like I'm probably going to dream about school supplies tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Galore and door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. Mm, care and there. Look at they're getting ready. They're getting all tucked in. Love it. In the morning, it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? I hope so. Would they still get to play? Guess what? We definitely do lots of playing in kindergarten. Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Do you brush your teeth in the morning? Good. That's very healthy for your teeth. I brush my teeth in the morning and at night because I want to be extra careful that my teeth are healthy and clean. Um. Let's see, faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids pose for pictures with eyes sparkly bright. Ooh, I love first day of school pictures. I always take a first day of school picture for my family. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Wait a second. They're going to Mars? No, they're going to their first day of school. They're all getting ready. Look at all of these families, kind of like the Bryant neighborhood. Lots of people from Bryant come to Bryant Elementary School. So you're gonna see lots of people on the first day of school for kindergarten heading out their doors, getting ready to come to school, just like you. And it's pretty special being in kindergarten because all the older kids started last Wednesday and you get to start a few days later, so it's pretty special. They've already been in school. You had a few extra days of summer. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, wow. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. Yeah, we don't really do nap time in kindergarten. But we do have times where we kind of just get to sit and, and take a big breath and relax. So that's still, that still happens in kindergarten. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. Now, if you notice, the parents are all hanging out in this humongous door right here in the classroom. At Bryant, we don't have humongous doors like that. So we don't really have enough room for them to hang out at the school. 
after school starts, but that's okay. You can say goodbye to them at the line, say, I'll see you later, and then you'll see them at the end of the day. So don't worry, you can still say goodbye to them at the line. They just won't come into the school with us. We'll say goodbye at the line, and then they'll go to work or they'll go back home, and then they'll be waiting anxiously to come get you at the end of the day. They'll be sad to say goodbye too. So you gotta make sure to give your grown-ups extra love tomorrow too. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps, but where were the beds for mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played Simon Says. Have you ever played Simon Says? That's a pretty silly game. They tumbled and skipped and they stood on their heads. I don't know if Mr. B and Mr. D are are going to teach you how to stand on your head and pee. Do you, do you think they're going to teach you that? I don't know, we'll have to ask them. That seems pretty silly. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a new friend. Guess what? We're gonna sing songs in kindergarten too. There's a lot of things that are similar, which means the same or almost the same in this book and what's gonna be happening for you tomorrow. There's a few things that are different, but there's a lot of things that are the same. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. Why do you think Miss Sunrise is in for a giant surprise? Let's find out. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. This book is reading my mind. I haven't even read this book yet. And it already, I told you, your grownups might need an extra big squeeze tomorrow. Their noses were sniffly. Their eyes were red and wet. <laughs> This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. I told you, right, Miss Sorensen knows. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school don't cry, mom and dad. Kindergarten is cool. What'd you think? Did that make you feel any more ready for tomorrow? Maybe a little bit excited? Because let me tell you, we're going to do more read alouds. We're going to have lots of fun. And we are going to start making so many awesome new friends in 103. Well, my little kindergartners, I hope you have a wonderful sleep tonight. I hope you have dancing crayons in your head and skipping scissors and laughing pencils. And I will see you in the morning, bright and early for our very first day of kindergarten together. See you soon. Bye.